Components of Namibia's GDP Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore. In this video we shall talk about the component of Namibia's GDP. Gross domestic product or GDP as popularly known is the total monetary or market value of all the finished goods and services produced within a country's borders in a specific time period. GDP provides an economic snapshot of a country used to estimate the size of an economy and growth rate. GDP can be calculated in three ways, using expenditures, production or incomes. It can be adjusted for inflation and population to provide deeper insights. The calculation of a country's GDP encompasses all private and public consumption, government outlays, investments, additions to private inventories, paid in construction costs and the foreign balance of trade. Of all the components that make up a country's GDP, the foreign balance of trade is especially important. The GDP of a country tends to increase when the total value of goods and services that domestic producers sell to foreign countries exceed the total value of foreign goods and services that domestic consumers buy. When such a situation occurs, a country is said to have a trade surplus. If the opposite situation however occurs, that is if the amount that the domestic consumers spend on foreign products is greater than the total sum of what domestic producers are able to sell to foreign consumers, then it is called a trade deficit. In this situation, the GDP of a country tends to fall or decrease. GDP can be nominal, in which the GDP is evaluated at current market prices, and real GDP, which is adjusted for inflation. Adjusted measure that reflects both the value and the quantity of goods and services produced by the economy in a given year. But for the sake of this video, we shall be looking at nominal GDP. To get the full package of what comprises the GDP of Namibia, it means that we will evaluate the components which comprise Namibia's GDP. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The Economy of Namibia Namibia is a higher middle income country with an estimated annual GDP per capita of $5,828, but has extreme inequalities in income distribution and the standard of living. Well, since independence, the Namibian government has pursued free market economic principles designed to promote commercial development and job creation to bring disadvantaged Namibians into the economic mainstream. Despite this, the government runs and owns a number of companies such as Air Namibia, Transnamib and Nampost, most of which need frequent financial assistance to stay afloat. The country's sophisticated formal economy is based on capital-intensive industry and farming. However, Namibia's economy is heavily dependent on the earnings generated from primary commodity exports and a few vital sectors, including minerals, especially diamonds, livestock and fish. Furthermore, the Namibian economy remained integrated with the economy of South Africa, as the bulk of Namibia's imports originate there. The largest economic sectors are mining, agriculture, manufacturing and tourism. Components of Namibia's GDP the GDP of Namibia for 2019 was estimated at $26.76 billion, which was approximately the same as that of 2018, and up by just a little percentage of 2017's $25.95 billion. The components that comprise the GDP of Namibia include natural manufacturing and the servicing industry. Agriculture About half of the population depend on agriculture solely and largely being subsistence agriculture for its livelihood. But Namibia must still import some of its food. Although per capita GDP is five times the per capita GDP of Africa's poorest countries, the majority of Namibia's people live in rural areas and have a subsistence way of living. Although arable land accounts for only 1% of Namibia, nearly half of the population is employed in agriculture. About 4,000 mostly white commercial farmers own almost half of Namibia's arable land. The governments of Germany and the United Kingdom will finance Namibia's land reform process as Namibia plans to start expropriating land from white farmers to resettle landless black Namibians. One of the fastest growing areas of economic development in Namibia is the growth of wildlife conservancies. These are particularly important to the rural, generally unemployed population. In 2019, the share of agriculture and GDP was 6.61%. Mining and electricity Providing 25% of Namibia's revenue, mining is the single most important contributor to the economy as Namibia is the fourth largest exporter of non-fuel minerals in Africa and the world's fourth largest producer of uranium. There has been significant investment in uranium mining to improve on the sector. 
rich alluvial diamond deposits make Namibia a primary source for gem quality diamonds. While this country is known predominantly for its gem, diamond, and uranium deposits, a number of other minerals are extracted industrially such as lead, tungsten, gold, tin, fluorospar, manganese, marble, copper, and zinc. There are offshore gas deposits in the Atlantic Ocean that are planned to be extracted in the future. Electricity is generated mainly by thermal and hydroelectric power plants. Non-conventional methods for electricity generation also play some role. Encouraged by the rich uranium deposits, the Namibian government planned to erect its first nuclear power station by the year 2018. Also, uranium enrichment is envisaged to happen locally. Although much of the world's diamond supply comes from what has been called African blood diamonds, Namibia has managed to develop a diamond mining industry, largely free of the kinds of conflicts, extortion and murder that have plagued many other African nations with diamond mines. This has been attributed to political dynamics, economic institutions, grievances, political geography, and the effects of neighborhoods, and it is the result of a joint agreement between the government and the DBs that has led to a taxable base strengthening state institutions. Tourism The tourism industry in Namibia has really flourished due to the wildlife diversity of the country, such as the plains zebra, which is the focus of tourism. The general service sector contributed about 59.31% of Namibia's GDP in 2019. Tourism is a major contributor, accounting for 14.5% of Namibia's GDP, thus creating tens of thousands of jobs as it accounts for 18.2% of all employment, directly or indirectly, and servicing over a million tourists per year. The country is a prime destination in Africa as it is known for ecotourism, which features Namibia's extensive wildlife. Windhoek plays a very important role in Namibia's tourism due to its central location and close proximity to Hosea Kotako International Airport. According to Namibia Tourism Exit Survey, which was visiting Namibia in the year 2012-2013, it visited Windhoek. Many of Namibia's tourism-related parastatals and governing bodies such as Namibia Wildlife Resort, Air Namibia and the Namibia Tourism Board, as well as Namibia's tourism-related trade associations such as the Hospitality Association of Namibia, are headquartered in Windhoek. There are also a number of notable hotels in Windhoek, such as Windhoek Country Club Resort and some international hotel chains such as Avanti Hotels and Resorts and Hilton Hotels and Resorts. Fishing The clean cold South Atlantic waters off coast of the Namibian shore are home to some of the richest fishing grounds in the world, with a potential for sustainable yield of 1.5 million metric tons per year. Commercial fishing and fish processing is the fastest growing sector of the Namibian economy in terms of employment, export earnings and contribution to the GDP. The main species found in abundance off Namibia are pilchards, anchovy, hake and horse mackerel. There are also smaller but significant quantities of sow, squid, deep sea crab, rock lobster and tuna. The fishery sector contributes an average of 6.6% to Namibia's GDP as globally the nation ranks amongst the top 10 fishing countries in terms of value of production and in terms of its 400 kg per capita annual production. Namibia ranks second in the world. Manufacturing The main manufacturing activities in Namibia are light industry based and directly linked with the country's agricultural sector. They include meat packing, fishing processing and dairy processing. Since the year 1990, fisheries have become increasingly important to the economy of the country. In the year 2019 alone, the share of the Namibia's manufacturing industry to the GDP amounted to more than 26%. Trade The main trading items of Namibia include its natural resources and some few manufactured goods. Namibia exports mostly diamonds, uranium, lead, zinc, tin, silver, tungsten, food and live animals and manufactured products. Namibia's main trading partners are South Africa, United Kingdom, USA, Angola, Netherlands and Spain. Namibia imports food products, petroleum products and fuel, machinery and equipment and chemicals. South Africa is Namibia's major import partner, who accounts for over 66% of total imports, followed by the Netherlands, United Kingdom and China. Balance of Payments of Namibia in 2019, total export of Namibia was $6.4 billion, 
while the total goods imported amounted to $8 billion, leading to a trade deficit to the country. A trade deficit is an implication of a higher value on imports than the exports sent out by the country. A trade deficit is not an economically good state for any country, but given how common it is with African countries, the surprise comes when an African country has a surplus. To even out this debt of a deficit, Namibia will have to produce more before the end of 2020 to at least even out or attain a surplus. Namibia has strength in the service industry and should explore that sector to maximize its opportunities and possibilities of a better balance of payment account by the end of the year. There you have it, explorers, the components of Namibia's gross domestic products. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends and village people.